my name is Jessie Jones and this installation is called The Tower. The Tower is the second in a trilogy I'm making. The first part was called Tremble Tremble. It was shown in Talbot Rice Gallery before, so it's wonderful to get to come back and bring the second instalment in this story to um, audiences in Edinburgh. So the work really began with a thinking that I had around who came before the witches. Um, I had been researching for a long time the history of the witch trials and how they manifest in different, different places, how they manifest differently in Scotland as opposed to mainland Europe and Ireland and um, in other places. But during the last couple of years, and I suppose particularly during lockdown, I was quite affected by thinking like deeper, further back in time. So I started to look at the lives and the work and the genius of 12th century mystical women. So in the tower, a lot of the writing and the script and the music and the atmosphere really is brought together by the characters of Hildegard of Bingen and also Marguerite Perret. Marguerite Perret is particularly important as a, I guess, a hinge between the period of the witch trials and the early medieval mystical movements. So she was tried as a heretic and she was actually burnt with copies of her book, The Mirror of Simple Souls, strapped to her body. So I found this story really moving and it really made me think about the lives, but also the incredible work that had been lost through time, the incredible genius of a lot of these women writers who I kind of approached as, as though they were contemporary, as though they were contemporary artists, like thinking about somebody like Hildegard of Bingen, whose work crosses from herbalism, horticulture, music, literature, that all of that work comes together in a way that we can think about this kind of idea of a, of a polymath or somebody who's looking at the world in a really holistic way. So I was really inspired by these visionary women and bringing them into a space of contemporary art and opening up that experience for audiences. So the work is a activated film installation with sculpture, live performance and film and large moving uh, printed curtains. There's lots of tactile elements. There will be an element within the performance where an object will be received by the audience from the performers. So I was really thinking after this period of lockdown, looking in particular about feelings of affect and touch within a installation. I have a sculpture that I made closely with Alwyn Fuere, who's the lead actor in the film. Alwyn is a constant collaborator. Alwyn also appeared in the first part of the trilogy, uh, Tremble Tremble, so it's wonderful to get to return to that collaboration and go deeper again with, with our kind of sense of knowing each other's practice. So there's a, a stone statue within the installation that is a depiction of Alwyn. So she exists between stone and film as well, which was really important for me to think about moving image and tangibility. There are so many hidden and forgotten stories, not only from this medieval period, but so many stories of women's lives and women as authors, women as storytellers that have been really suppressed in so many ways. So the, the work kind of focuses on those women in particular, but really it's about what gets left behind, what gets lost, what falls through the gaps and how it can creep back up and smolder through the rubble and speak to us again.